Hi guys, my name is Jordan. I work as a freelance filmmaker and video editor, and today we're going to be going over how to do a very unique effect for your text. The end result of what we're going for is having your text come across as negative space. At first, this might seem complicated, but it's actually incredibly easy to pull off. And we're also going to be showing you a really interesting use of this technique at the very end. So, let's get started with making transparent text. The first thing you're going to want to do is create the text that you want to appear on the screen. So create a new text box with Ctrl or Command T, and we're just going to write here, Be Creative. Customize it to your liking, but we're going to be going with a larger size and a font called Beb as New. Now we're going to drag it up to the third layer, and this is because later on, we're going to want to have it above two other clip layers. Cool! Now let's put a backdrop for it to go in front of. Let's create a motion graphic rectangle. For this effect, we need it to have its own clip box, so we're going to create a new one with Ctrl or Command T, and then delete the text layer here. Now in your essential graphics panel, go to the page icon here and choose Rectangle. I'm going to stretch it out over here like a banner, and then color it to light blue, just for personal taste. Now let's center everything with the centering tools to make it look nice. Great, we're getting there, but now we're actually going to make it stencil out your object here. To do that, we need to create a track mat. Luckily for us, this is an effect you can use right inside of Premiere. Go to your effects tab and type in mat, M-A-T-T-E. And you should find it here under keying. We're going to choose track mat key. Now drag it and drop it onto the layer of the object that you want to have the text chop out, not the actual text itself. Keep in mind that track mat layers only work with the things above them, not below. So when we go here to effect controls and down to our track mat key effect, we can see that the only mat layer options are ones above the clip we actually dropped the effect onto, which was on video track layer number two. Now if we select video 3, which stands for the video on the third track layer, we can see that our text now takes on the characteristics of the blue box we created. This is almost the opposite of what we're trying to accomplish, but luckily, there's a reverse option built right into the effect. So select reverse, and there we go, we've stenciled out a hole in our text. But to really get an appreciation for what we've done, we need to drop a piece of footage behind it on the bottom layer. There we go! Our text is actually negative space that we're seeing through. And it's a really interesting effect that's not used that often, so it adds a unique look to our shot. Now we can see here that if we move our background footage around, the text won't move and it'll show through what's changing. And if we move our colored box around, it'll move around with the text as one unit. But included here with our track mat change is a transform option. This allows us to move the box around independently from the text if we'd like. Make it bigger, move it to the left or right, rotate it, whatever you'd like. And on our text layer, you can also make changes to it independently without ruining the effect. But you don't just have to do this with a solid color, you can actually use this effect to do some really cool things. So let's take our text layer and move it over. And let's also take our video layer and place it underneath. Now we're going to try to just create a black background with our video showing through negative text. Go to effects and take the track mat key and drop it onto your footage at the very bottom. And now select the track that the text layer is on for your mat. And there you go, you've created some text that's transparent and shows the video below it. But let's go for something even more in depth. Let's keep this setup, but move everything up one layer. Our text loses the effect because our mat is now set for the wrong track layer. So let's set it to layer number three, and now we get the effect back. But now let's take a new piece of footage and place it underneath. And there we go, we have a piece of footage that has text above it showing completely different footage. You can see how versatile this effect can be, and how it can lead to even more effects if you get creative. For example, let's try using this text to transition into a new scene. Let's animate our text to scale up after our clip's been playing for a little bit. And now effectively, we're left with an entirely new shot. And there we go, we've used this effect as a unique way to create a seamless transition between two worlds. So use this as a great opportunity to get creative and see what you come up with. And that's it, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, and you know somebody who might benefit from it, consider sharing it with them. But that's it for me, and I hope to see you in the next video.